Hey everybody, this is Rhino, and we are back with another recording of Child of Light. Let's continue. So, last recording, we got in this fight with our sister who turned into a monster, and we can't fly away to avoid her. So, it says her name is Cordelia, and then it goes through this whole thing that I'm just gonna skip through, and then it changes her name. Um, more towards my thought of, yeah, Krepsicum is what she is called now. That this is all just some weird dream or something. Um, so this was a difficult fight. It did not work out as I would have hoped. So... First thing I want to do is taunt. Then, I don't have light ray off, so starlight off. Darn it, interrupted. Um got a big problem here. We definitely have a problem going on here. This guy is gonna soak up damage all he wants, but unless he does something more... Sixty damage per attack is, is too much. Starlight all... I guess I shouldn't have blinded that guy. Damage increase. So the only thing I can do here is just try to down healing tonics and hope that I can focus the attack here away from Aurora. So, ideally I think what I want to do is blind this one and attack with the Gatakari Claw on this one. Ah, uh, that didn't work anyways. So, my guy's about to die. Attack. Starlight. Slow, the, slow this guy down. Uh, I suppose what I might be able to do is just sit here and power him up. Yeah, I guess I could do that. This powered more to our advantage. Well, that was as much as I could do. Let's attack. Ah, the taunt didn't work. Close taunt again and then act Starlight all. Need to elevate damage. Partially too. Interrupt one guy. These guys are just so powerful. Ocean, healing on myself. Interrupted. Starlight all. Paralyzed. 
was, my guy. almost gets me to maximum. Now got this. So now all I need to do is slash this guy. Do 128. Slash him again. Interrupt him. Good. Let's count the interruption. Armor of Titan. Bring up the armor. Does he still have taunt on him? Is the question. I'm just using this in a very strange way. That normally we don't sit here and try and just heal the guy with our. working actually quite nicely. We go over here. After the plans refill, they don't give you any more health or magic power. They only give you the uh, stuff, but look what it's accomplishing. Quite a lot. Dodge, darn it. Get him. Interrupt him. Good. Critical hit. Guy down a little bit. Darn it. Slash this act. I need three MP if I was gonna taunt. Two hundred and sixteen damage. Here. So 
that gun take him down? No. Still doing a massive amount of damage. Attack slash here and then either I get more MP or I just keep attacking. And I think I just want to keep attacking. That was it though. We only need one more. 35,000 experience. I want to have two levels there. Two levels there. One level there. Two levels there. One level there. One level there. The moon, yours for now shall be, but mother will end you. Wait and see. Yeah, we collected the moon somehow. Whoa, where did Aurora go? Oh, she's grown up now. I think that's a little weird. I think that's always a little weird. Ignatius, have you become smaller? Maybe it's the light of the moon, but I think you've gotten taller. Who cares what size Aurora is? We just killed a dragon. What a team. Our strengths trounce the competition. To the extreme. What do we do now? We must recover the sun. To the lowest of the low. Quickly, let us run. Skill points available. Skill tree upgraded. So I always think in stories it is extremely odd for and implications are massive abound when a little kid suddenly grows into a, a adult body. I mean, literally just decades of knowledge and experience is missing. I will just leave it at that. So we are going to the flooded lands, which are, I guess are the lowest of low. The moon shone through her misty veil. The stars went joyfully as a world left the tower and made her journey to the sea. If the highest of the high was in the sky, the lowest of the low had to be beneath the white capped waves of the Lemurian Sea. The waters of the flood continued to rise. The duke was at death's gate. Umbra and Nox waited in the dark. Little time left to alter the hands of fate. Oh, Ignatius, fly on by. The lowest of the low I do not spy. Cheerful place, isn't it? Perhaps for a firefly. What I'm confused about is, why is the ground covered in, in, with patches of sky? The land is flooded. Oh. See, even in the, doing the dialogue, they don't... The reason why you go to a cutscene close to the face is so you can throw in some extra animation and that extra animation won't overlap itself just by randomly being added to the area. So that is the Forgotten Tower. We've got some skill points now. So, here we are. The question is... We could do slash all, which I already have slash all, one, but this would be slash all two, which is takes very long, whereas this takes very long, so I might as well upgrade it right now. And then magical defense, defending slash up to three, and then slash all three. Hmm. So we can now finally with the power of the moon get to the final level and then we'll get back down this path for starlight all two and then starlight three and then starlight all three uh, it is a small problem when you can't plan out your skill tree because it doesn't show you all what the ultimate things are going to be but this one only hid the last five of them uh, so that's not too terrible. 
light ray all is eventually what I would want to get to also but the path is clear we're gonna fill up this all the way to the max let's see so that means this guy can do defend three and dodge percent upgrade all the way to counter heal if it wanted if he wanted to but I think heal all is probably more towards what he's trying to what we're trying to get at with that character even though we don't use this character and then the other path is tumble which an ailment protect tumble all here tumble all three here Alright, Finn here could do lightning strike all two. Yeah, two more for him. I want to get back to playing as him, I think. He has a passive skill, increase the chance of critical hit. Hmm. That's interesting. Couple more here. Extend spells by two. And we just want this passive skill to... We want to get as many passive skills unlocked as possible. Kiss of Death passive skill. Definitely want that. And it will eventually go to Kiss of Death 3. 20% chance of just killing something on the first hit. Um, now as for the Oculi, we didn't get a big old amount there. I am also noticing that we only have this free trade quest right now and so temple of the moon forgotten tower uh, so if there's something in the Cinnabel Sea or the Isle of Nideria uh, it's gonna be past the flooded lands I suppose and I have a quite a thought that there might not be there's still a lot of coffers that we're not finding and that is interesting it's somewhat concerning me is that we just haven't found them but I still think there's a whole dark path and then uh, it's just so weird too it is just so weird Aurora has changed into that why not just pick one way to tell the story or the other why have her grow? I don't know. I do not know. Alright. Hmm. I could never get into like those movies like 13 going on 30. And even if it was one of them where the dialogue was written pretty good, I just couldn't ever get into that concept. Or well, big, big is big's problem is that it's just too old of a movie now. And older movies have a tendency to run long. I wonder what the running time for big is. It's probably not super long but I wouldn't surpri be surprised if it's 2 hours 20, 2 hours 15 mm. I could, of course could be totally wrong about that it could be an hour and 30 which is about standard by today's fair for movies I'm a fan of watching movies, but I only really watch weird movies at this point in my life. So it's like, I guess I've become, what, what are those people called? The people that said they did something before it was cool, or they only do watch indie movies, or they only listen to indie music. Uh, I've become like that. Although I do like some of the best of the best of the American generally released movies. I like the Lego movie, for example. But 
most American release movies are garbage, and the people that make them know they're garbage, and the people that go watch them know they're garbage. And it's just too expensive to get a movie ticket or buy or rent a DVD. I will sometimes check out movies and fast forward through them on Netflix once they come out. Anywho, let's get back to the game instead of just me ranting. Uh, I'm here to play a game, so let's read, talk to this. Oh, what's it say? To find the treasure of the golden red rectangle, study Earth's emerald middle. In Simbel Sea, do not stray from the path of light. The answer points out the riddle. Simbel's secret. Okay. So this is kind of a swamp area that seems like it's full of monsters and then up here we're just getting more and more wind pushing us away. Where is everyone hiding? I hope not transformed into more flying birds flying. Perhaps this is a good spot for profit mining. A fire. Someone must have this lit this prior. Oh, hello, little one. What is your name? Shh, be careful. You'll wake the ogre behind your back. Is this a game? Jennifer, get back here and hide. No, I'm going inside. Hmm. She doesn't listen to me, as you can see. He dressed, he's dressed, I'm Jin for short. I'm Aurora, is an ogre troubling me? Troubling the whole village is gone. The ogre guards the caves under the sea. He would visit us every time he gets hungry. He, he, I can't say it in front of the girl. Down into the sea, he took my mommy and my daddy. But they can't, can breathe underwater easily. We're sorcerers, you see. Quinefa and I are all that's left. Or will you bring back my mom and dad? I will, child. Do not worry. Hurry, I am glad. Wonder if our parents would sell this village for scrap. I will put... That would put me on the map. So, I mean... I hate to get back to that conversation that I was just having, but... The dynamic totally changes. Aurora is still a little girl in my book, and she's treating the the new girl. She's calling her child like, wait a minute, you were even younger than she was, and you still are, even though you you your body has grown. Can I feel your wings? One touch and I shiver like violin strings. Be careful out there. Too late. Take care. You too take care. Not too late. <laughs> not even reading this right. <laughs> not gonna get any voice actor awards. Hmm. You know, actually, right about now when we're recording this, there is a uh, discussion about the SAG voice actors for video games are negotiating for a few uh, improvements in their jobs. And you can see in this game, with me reading this dialogue, uh, it really does take a professional <laughs> 
and what they're asking for is probably worth it if they can get the job done and actually make a game sound good compared to somebody like me who has no skill or expertise or natural talent let's just face it I don't have natural talent uh, above anything else to be a voice actor me trying to read this out Interesting, they're having a conversation here with Ignatius. And now, Aurora is sounding more and more like a... a uh, wise old woman, for no real reason. here? Did we go in here? There we go. Just blind this guy. Take this. Anything else? Nope. This game desperately needed voice acting. All this rhyming. Well, on top of that, on top of just voice acting, it needed writers. There's really no way to deny it. It just needed real writers who weren't just gonna try and rhyme everything. And what is it's just so childish it feels. There we go, we have confessions number 11. And we're flying over here. We have a couple of caves. Left to the Peaskin village. So let's look at the confessions. There we go, we only have four left, and I suspect they'll come a little bit faster and more furious than... Alright, I gotta get up here and... There we go. This is like a... What are we doing here? Let's try this. I guess we might as well try this fight. Attack. Slash all or stage light all. Let's see, starlight all. And then taunt here. Did 25, that was very good. Sixty. Just trying to get some numbers here. As to this setback in 64, slash all. And then armor of the Titans. Interrupt the thing. 38 now. 64 still. 43. Act slash all. Does about 120. Let's see. Potion. Healing tonic. Sure we not. Dodge. I think I'd want this guy's dodge up higher. Let's see. Let's go ahead and get this guy up while, while we can. Act. Either up. Kill the 
one guy. Set back. Attack. Slash all. Interrupted. We're getting twelve health now. Let's see, attack that, attack here. That one's vulnerable to water. And this one should take him out. Really? Ridiculous amounts of XP we're getting now. And it's not just because we have some diamonds. It's just what happens when you get in a fight. Uh, they, This is so programmed to absolutely... Isn't this Sweltress? We're in the same troop. In battle, I suppose our act will be sharpened. Ah, oh, you always make me laugh. My only fan. Thanks to you, I am not disheartened. Yeah, we're still doing the conversations of the characters for Triss. Which means we haven't even started the conversations for... What is this? Interesting. The conversations for the newest character. So we have a 5... A eight. And I assume we're gonna have more to do. Hmm. And we've got all kinds of skills. Let's ah, these cost two for the square things. Interesting. Or at least some of them do. Heal all. And uh, oculi. I think we have some work to do on the oculi too here. Let's see if we take this and we this and this. We can craft that. And then if we take this and then this and then this, we can craft that this and then one of these and then one of these we can craft that hmm and if we craft this and this and this we can craft that and then if we take one of these and one of these and one of these we can craft that excellent Let's see, blue spindles. I have a couple here, so if I take this one off and this one off. Let's see. Take that. Instead, take that off. Hmm. Take that off, take that off. This, this. And see what else we can do here, here, here. There we go. 
and we got some purples. If only we had more greens. Hmm. We can make some more green, some more purples, and work our way up that, but I don't think that'd be the right move. So we'll give this guy some max, max HP, and then increase his experience, because that's what we really want. And then, honestly, I don't even know if it's worth it to have these oculi on any of the other characters because it's such a hassle to just come back, move some stuff around, come back, move some more stuff around for the rare chance that this character might actually get played. I'm just putting whatever random ones I want in here. Here, we'll put a diamond here so it gets more XP. Just make sure everything has a diamond in it. And then we have some items. <laughs> and it just keeps on going. And I have to assume that we want to go to Aurora. Uh, we're trying to look for a treasured land and that's its own separate thing. And then we have this free trade thing that I've never figured out. And so we'll have to try and work on some of those things later. We are running late again. Uh, I'm starting to make a habit of this, actually. Anywho, that's it for this recording. As always, I ask you to like, share, subscribe, comment if you want to, and watch every second of my videos. All of that helps me out. If you want to support me, you can click on my name, Rido. On the right will be a blue button that says support this channel. Click it and make a donation. And if you want to friend or follow me on basically any social media sites, there's a whole bunch of links down below. Thank you for watching. Have a good evening.